Ever wondered how you can turn your love for fish and vegetables into a profitable venture? Well, let me introduce you to the wonder of aquaponics, a system that combines two of nature's most efficient processes, aquaculture and hydroponics. Aquaponics is a symbiotic environment where you grow fish and plants together. The fish produce waste, which is then converted by beneficial bacteria into nutrients that the plants can use. In turn, the plants filter the water, creating a clean environment for the fish to live in. It's a win-win scenario for both the fish and the plants, and for us as well. Not only is aquaponics an efficient way to grow food, it's also incredibly sustainable. It uses up to 90% less water than traditional farming methods. Imagine that. You're essentially creating a mini ecosystem that continually recycles the same water, but that's not all. Aquaponics also makes incredibly efficient use of space. Because the plants are grown in water, not soil, they can be stacked vertically, allowing you to grow more in less space. And since there's no soil, there's no need for weeding, which makes maintenance a breeze. One of the greatest benefits of aquaponics is that it provides a source of both protein and vegetables. In our case, we can raise tilapia, a fast-growing, hardy fish that's high in protein. At the same time, we can grow organic vegetables that are free from harmful pesticides and fertilizers. So you're not just growing food, you're growing healthy, nutritious food. And the best part? You can do it all year round, regardless of the season. The beauty of aquaponics is that it's a scalable system. You can start small with a basic setup in your backyard, or you can go big and turn it into a commercial operation. Either way, you're contributing to a more sustainable and healthier future. Now let's dive deeper and see how to start your own aquaponics system with tilapia and organic vegetables. Starting a tilapia farm may seem daunting, but with the right knowledge and tools it can be a breeze. To kick things off, you'll need to choose the right breed of tilapia. The Nile tilapia is a popular choice due to its fast growth rate and adaptability. However, the blue tilapia is also a great contender, known for its cold tolerance. So your choice will depend on your local climate and your personal preference. Next, you'll need to set up the pond or tank. This is where your tilapia will live, grow, and ultimately become a key part of your aquaponic system. The size of your pond will depend on the scale of your operation. Remember, each adult tilapia needs about a square foot of surface area. So, make sure you have enough space for your fish to thrive. Now let's talk water. Tilapia prefer warm water, ideally between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. They can survive in cooler temperatures, but they won't grow as quickly. So consider investing in a water heater if you're in a cooler climate. As for the pH level, aim for a range between 6 and 9. Invest in a good quality water test kit to help you maintain the right balance. Feeding your tilapia is the final piece of the puzzle. Tilapia are omnivores and will eat just about anything. However, for optimal growth consider a high-quality fish feed. These are specifically formulated to provide all the nutrients your fish need to grow healthy and strong. So there you have it. You've chosen the right breed, set up your pond, maintained the perfect water temperature and pH level, and figured out feeding. You're well on your way to becoming a successful tilapia farmer. With your tilapia farm in place, you're halfway there. Next, let's move on to the vegetable side of things. Growing organic vegetables not only provides you with fresh produce, it's also a key component in your aquaponics system. The beauty of this setup is that it's a symbiotic relationship where the waste from your tilapia serves as an organic fertilizer for your vegetables, making them thrive in a natural, chemical-free environment. So how do you choose the right vegetables for your system? It's important to select plants that will flourish in an aquaponic environment. Leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, and kale are excellent choices as they grow well in water-rich environments. Herbs like basil, chives, and parsley are also good options. These plants not only benefit from the nutrient-rich water but also help to purify it, creating a healthier environment for your tilapia. Now let's talk about planting. You don't plant in soil in an aquaponic system, instead you'll be using a grow bed filled with porous media such as clay pebbles or perlite. You plant your seeds directly into this media, which provides support for the plants as they grow and allows the roots to access the nutrient-rich water. Caring for your plants in an aquaponic system is a bit different than traditional gardening. You won't need to water them as they are constantly bathed in water from your fish tank. However, you'll need to monitor the pH level of the water to ensure it's optimal for both your fish and your plants. Regularly check the health of your plants by looking at their leaves. 
yellow or wilted leaves can be a sign of nutrient deficiency. Remember, the goal here is to create a balanced ecosystem. The tilapia provide the nutrients the plants need to grow, and in return, the plants clean the water for the tilapia. It's a win-win situation, and the best part is, you're producing both healthy fish and vegetables in a sustainable way. Now that you have your vegetables growing and your tilapia swimming, let's see how these two systems work together. The beauty of an aquaponic system lies in its symbiosis, the way the fish and the vegetables work together. It's a dance of nature, a choreography perfected over eons where each participant plays a crucial role. Now let's take a deep dive into this magical world of symbiosis. Picture this, the tilapia swimming leisurely in their aquatic home are not just growing to provide a source of protein, they are also acting as the engine of this thriving ecosystem. How, you ask? Well, it's all in the waste. Yes, you heard it right, the waste. As the fish go about their daily life, they produce waste, a byproduct of their metabolic processes. But in the world of aquaponics, this waste is far from useless. Enter the second half of our symbiotic duo, the vegetables. The waste produced by our tilapia is rich in nutrients, particularly nitrogen, a vital nutrient for plant growth. Through a process called nitrification, beneficial bacteria convert this waste into a form of nitrogen that plants can absorb and utilize. But the plants aren't just passive beneficiaries in this relationship. They play a vital role, too. As they absorb these nutrients, they are effectively cleaning the water, removing harmful substances and making it safe for the fish. It's a win-win situation, a perfect example of mutualism, where both parties benefit from the relationship. And there's more. The system is not just beneficial for the fish and the plants, it's also good for us and the environment. Aquaponics uses up to 90% less water than traditional farming methods. Why? Because the water is recycled within the system, reducing the need for constant replenishment. Additionally, it requires less energy as there's no need for heavy machinery or extensive tilling of the land. So, the magic of symbiosis in an aquaponic system isn't just about the fish and the vegetables. It's about creating a sustainable, efficient, and eco-friendly system that benefits us all. And there you have it. A complete aquaponic system that's beneficial for both the fish and the vegetables. Now comes the best part. Reaping the benefits of your hard work. When you combine tilapia farming with organic vegetable cultivation, you're harvesting more than just your daily meals. You're bringing to the table a bounty of benefits that extend beyond your dinner plate. First off, there's the sheer joy of dual harvest. Imagine stepping into your backyard and not just plucking fresh organic vegetables, but also catching a healthy homegrown tilapia for dinner. It's a self-sufficient food system right at your doorstep. Then there's the significant savings in water and energy. Aquaponics uses up to 90% less water compared to traditional farming methods. The water is constantly recycled within the system, reducing wastage, and making it an ideal solution for regions where water is scarce. Also, because you're growing both fish and vegetables in one system, you're utilizing the same resources to produce two types of food. But the benefits don't just stop at personal savings. This system has the potential to morph into a lucrative income source. With the increasing demand for organic vegetables and sustainably farmed fish, your backyard could soon turn into a profitable small-scale farm, providing you with a steady income stream. And let's not forget the environmental benefits. The symbiotic relationship between the fish and the vegetables means there's no need for chemical fertilizers or pesticides. The fish waste acts as a natural fertilizer for the plants, and in turn, the plants filter the water for the fish. It's a win-win situation for both the farmer and mother nature. By combining tilapia farming with organic vegetable cultivation, you're not just growing food, you're growing a sustainable and profitable future. You're contributing to a healthier planet, a healthier you, and a healthier wallet. So why not give it a try? You've got nothing to lose and a whole lot to gain. After all, the best part of farming is enjoying the fruits, or in this case, the fish and veggies, of your labor. By combining tilapia farming with organic vegetable cultivation, you're not just growing food, you're growing a sustainable and 